the best movies are about failed love. I mean, there aren't that many movies about where love turns out. The best ones are melodramatic, where love, like Adele H, or I loved um, The Deep Blue Sea, the Terrence Davies movie. But Boom is, I guess, my favorite movie because it's about Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, and she plays Sissy Goforth, the richest woman in the world who's dying. And, and Richard Burton plays um, the angel of death, who, who who has the, as she says, unfortunate habit of visiting widows right before they die to give them a little love right before they die. I live in absolute naturalness of nature. And if it shocks anybody, too bad. Goodbye, anybody. I give not a tinker's damn. Some people can't take it. Okay, then. Goodbye, some people. Mrs. Goforth, some people, most people, get panicky when they're not cared for by somebody. I get panicky when uh, I have nobody to care for. Yeah? Is that so? You seem to be setting yourself up as a saint of some kind. Well, maybe everybody needs the angel of death to come with them before. I think that's a very romantic um, idea, in a way. That, uh, and they talk about that, and it's done in a, some say not so poetic way, but Tennessee Williams always loved this movie and, and said that it was the best movie ever made from his plays. So, <laughs> in a way, it is romantic, but it's, it's, it's not the average standard love story that you see. I would say Douglas Sirk movies, certainly All That Heaven Allows, that's an amazing love story. So yes, Douglas Sirk would definitely be, and he's influenced every young filmmaker. Anytime there's ever a love scene, <laughs> In any independent movie, there's a nod to Douglas Sirk.